Hi, I'm Jessica Harrington. And I'm Cynthia Wright. And, and you're, you're watching... Interventions begins this week. Students that are failing any course will be sent to a temporary intervention until their grade improves. Field reporter Raymond Garcia caught up with Mr. Campbell. Hi, I'm Raymond Garcia with In the News at CHS, standing with our principal, Mr. Campbell. Mr. Campbell, first and foremost, what, do you, what is the Pyramid of Intervention? Pyramid of Intervention is a, a technique that we're going to use to make kids more successful. When they're having a difficult time in classes, we are going to place them into a, a program where they get the extra help they need, uh, the assistance, maybe some more material that they could use, but we are going to help them be successful through the Pyramid of inter Intervention. Okay. Uh, do you think the students will benefit from going to these interventions? Most definitely. Through studies that we have looked at, schools that use the Pyramid of Intervention have seen more student success than students at schools that do not use it. So we feel that, that our students will benefit greatly from it. Okay, so what is the punishment for not going to these interventions? I think punishment's a, 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 the wrong word. Uh, the loss of education would be more like it if they don't go to the Pyramid of Intervention. We're going to treat it just like another period. It's going to be like the eighth period of the day. They will be assigned to it. It will count as an absence for them. Uh, we will make parent contacts when they don't go. We will have parent support in it. Uh, it's, a, it's a program that is designed to help students be successful. So it's just adding other periods to their schedules. Ex exactly. Okay, so you heard it from Mr. Camel. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Raymond. Enrichment classes have officially started as of last week. The enrichment classes at Kalinga High School are for students who either need credits or students who would like the chance to learn something new. Some of these enrichment classes include cooking, baking, Latin dance, video gaming, photography, guitar, crafts, construction, and more. There is still some time to enroll. Students are encouraged to sign up in the counseling office as soon as possible. The new buzzword among CHS staff this year is PLC, which stands for Professional Learning Community. It's important because it involves the entire school and is the reason for perhaps the biggest change students have encountered this year, the new bell schedule. Each class period, except period two, has been extended from 48 to 51 minutes. On Wednesdays, school begins at 9.10, and of course the daily brunch no longer exists. How did this come about? Over the summer, the school board and teachers union agreed to change the daily schedule to allow more time for teachers to collaborate weekly. This means teachers work together to solve problems regarding students' grades, behavior, and overall success. Wildcats have hit the stage at CHS. Rehearsals are underway for the fall show, High School Musical, a stage adaptation of the popular Disney movie starring Zac Efron and Vanessa Hudgens. Students are working hard learning the choreography to dances such as Stick to the Status Quo and We're All in This Together. Nearly 30 first-time drama students and 25 returnees, Kalinga High Drama hopes to have a similar success with another Disney production, following last year's Beauty and the Beast. Last Wednesday was back to school night. Parents and teachers were able to talk about the progress of their students and chat about what each student will be doing within the school year. Field reporter Anna Jerichoff was able to talk to parents, students, and teachers to find out what they thought of back to school night. Hi, I'm Anna Jerichoff with In the News at CHS. I'm here with Darren Blevins interviewing him about the back to school night. So, why did you decide to attend? Well, the main reason is because my wife told me I had to. Okay, and did you get to see all the teachers that you wanted to see tonight? 
almost have about three more to go. Okay. And as a parent of the CHS student, is there anything that you'd like to see added to the back to school night? No, uh, I think everything is working out all right. I know where most of my kids' classes are, so I don't need a map or anything to find my way. All right, thank you. You're welcome. I'm Anna Jerichoff with In the News at CHS. I'm here interviewing Emily Smith about the back to school night. So, how has back to school night been so far? It's been pretty good. I've only gone to about two classes. Okay, and why did you decide to come today? I decided to come mainly because I get extra credit in a few classes. Okay, and what's your favorite part about back to school night? My favorite part about back to school night is probably getting to show my parents where I spend a lot of my life. All right, thank you, Emily. Thanks, Anna. How many of us have ever won a state championship for all the many things we enjoy doing? Actually, how many of us have ever won a state championship? Sophomore Stephanie Veras can now add this to her resume. She rode her horse to win all-around state championship in her English Western Jumping events at the Sacramento State Fair. Lupe Beltran got the chance to talk to Stephanie for a little more detail on what her events were and how she was able to get that far. Hi, this is Lupe Beltran with In the News at CHS, and here we're talking to Stephanie Vieras about her state championship. So Stephanie, what exactly did you win the state championship for? I won the state championship for English and Western Senior All-Around. And what did you have to do to get into those categories? Um, at your county show, you have to win a first, and that qualifies you to go show at the state fair. Okay. How many people were you competing against? There's probably about 50 people all in the thing at the show. Okay. What else did you win? I won little prizes, but I also won a belt buckle and a $500 scholarship. Okay, well, th thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, Lupe. Now let's go to Aaron Cavazos with this week's Horn Toad Highlights. Hi, I'm Aaron Cavazos with this week's Horn Toad Highlights. On Friday, the Toads traveled to Washington Union High School in Easton for their first scrimmage of the year. They took on the host school as well as the McLean Highlanders and the Corcoran Panthers in the four-school scrimmage. Early reports stated that Kalinga High's defense started out well, but the offense struggled to get things going. The team has been on the practice field for the past month, gearing up for another successful season. Field reporter Ashley Trembley spoke with Coach Earls about the upcoming season. Hi, I'm Ashley Tremblay within the news at CHS, and here we are with Coach Earls. How have you been preparing your players this year? Um, you know, it's been pretty warm this year, so practice has been scaled back a little bit. Um, we had plenty of time to prepare. Now it's just getting ready for the scrimmage. It's, you know, the other 86 teams in the Valley are doing the same thing with the same heat. So, um, you know, we're a little limited in numbers this year. Our numbers are down, but um, we'll be okay. Are you confident in your players? Yeah, we're a little young. I wouldn't say young. We're a little inexperienced. We have uh, a lot of seniors on the team. We just counted up. I think we only have 10 juniors. So um, the players that we have, a lot of the seniors don't have any game experience. So it's going to be trial by fire. They're going to have to learn how to do this on the run. How many games do you have this year? We have a scrimmage, 10 games, and then we go to the playoffs. So hopefully we have... 14 or 15, that would put us in the championship game. Okay. okay, thank you. Thanks, Ashley. The girls' tennis season is in full swing as of August 20th. Although the girls started out their season on top with a win against Tranquility, they were defeated by both Corcoran and Woodlake. Field reporter Megan Schultz interviewed Michaela Walker on her thoughts about the season so far. Hi, I'm Megan Schultz with In the News at CHS here with Michaela Walker. So, Michaela, have you ever played tennis before? No, this is my first year. And why did you decide to join the team this year? Um, I saw people practicing last year, and I just thought it looked like fun. So I decided to try it. And how do you feel about this upcoming season? Um, it's been going good so far, so I think we'll have fun. All right, well, good luck with this season. Thanks, Megan. Today, the girls hope to even out their record with a win on the road against Central Valley Christian High School. Good luck, ladies. 
The girls' volleyball squad opened up their preseason with an annual Avenel scrimmage. The Toads downed the Buccaneers in three straight matches, 3-0. to zero. Tonight, you can catch the ladies in action as the Dos Palos Broncos come to town. The varsity game begins at 6.30 and JV starts at 5 p.m. There are many new faces on the team, including Coach Selena Watson and Emerita Robancho. Hi, I'm Ashley Tremblay within the news at CHS, and here I am with Emerita Robancho. So, this is your first year, right? Yeah, it is. So why did you decide to come out for this sport? Well, I wanted to come out because it's my senior year and I want to do a lot of activities and clubs so that, you know, other like underclassmen could join to do whatever they want so it looks fun. So how do you think the season's going to turn out this year? It's going to turn out pretty good because we actually have a good team. So I think we're going to win all. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Ashley. The cross country team is off and running with practices daily after school. Field reporter Megan Schultz caught up with Coach McFarland and Joey Garcia to talk to them about the upcoming season. Hi, I'm Megan Schultz with In the News at CHS here with Joey Garcia. So have you ever ran cross country before? No, this is my first year. And what made you decide to join this year? Just to get in shape for basketball season. All right, and how do you feel about this upcoming season? Um, I think we'll do well. We have a couple of freshmen that came out this year, so I think we'll do well overall. All right, good luck. We're here with Coach McFarland. So, Coach, how have you been preparing your runners for this season? Well, it's been pretty difficult with the heat so far, but um, we're trying to get them to run on their own more at night and in the mornings before school if we can. But we have had them running in that 105-degree weather, which is difficult, but we're trying to get them ready. All right, and how are you feeling about this season? Um, it's been a little slow getting guys out. Uh, still, I don't have any girls out. Still looking for some girls to come out, but, uh, you know, we're trying to build a team right now. How many competitions will you be entering? Uh, I believe 10 or 11. All right. Thank you. Good luck with the season. Thank you. Thanks, Megan. It's not too late to sign up, so grab your running shoes and head out to practice. And that's this week's Horn Toad Highlights. Back to you, Jessica and Cynthia. Thanks, Aaron. And thank you for watching. And remember, if it's important, it's in the news at CHS.